2015 is going to be a huge year for Jaguar. We've already seen the XE compact sedan. In September in Frankfurt, they're going to take the wraps off the new F-Pace crossover. And here in New York, they've unveiled this, the XF, a rival to the BMW 5 Series. Jaguar's biggest problem is that you just don't see enough of them on the road. Globally, they sold just 80,000 cars last year. Now compare that with Audi, which sold over 200,000 just here in the US. So it's no surprise that the XF looks very similar to the smaller XC and even the larger XJ. Design director Ian Callum tells me that what he really wants to do is build a brand, then worry about differentiating the different models. It might not look that different, but this XF is still a handsome sporting sedan. And I love some of the details, particularly here, around these LED headlamps. XF made predominantly from aluminum is significantly lighter than the old model. It's also marginally shorter, but the wheelbase has grown so there's more room for people inside. I'm told that this wraparound fascia was inspired by a Riva yacht if you um, squint a bit. Attention here focuses on a new colour touchscreen display, which is a huge improvement on the old one, which always felt about 100 years old. The other thing they've done is to get rid of the traditional dials and replaced it by a digital display that you can configure to meet your needs like that. You can have any engine you like as long as it's a 3 litre supercharged V6 with either 335 horsepower or 375. There's also the choice of either rear or all-wheel drive and we expect more engines to follow including probably a 2 litre diesel after the car goes on sale this fall. The XF will take on cars like the Cadillac CTS, the BMW 5 Series, Mercedes E-Class and Audi A6. They're all big established cars, but tell us, would you swap one of those for one of these?